world, I'm Robert. Robert Moore. And uh, can you tell me what we're doing up here? Well, we're looking at the sun through hey a couple guys. of special telescopes. Uh, One is white light, which is the sun as you would be able to see it if you could look at it. You shouldn't do that. It's really good for showing you things like sunspots, uh, simply because it is an overall view. Sunspots are also on the photosphere, the surface of the sun, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where the white light comes yeah. from. Okay. Now, how long have you guys been doing this with Dragon Con? Oh, Lordy. Um, we've been having solar telescopes come out since 2005. 2005, so um, nearly a decade ago. Nearly a decade. Really, I didn't even know they, I mean, they had live astronomy that far back. I knew they had the space track, but yeah. do you know when they brought the space track to Dragon Con? Uh, yes, that was actually about the same time. They had really? science for a long time before that, but it had almost died. Then uh, Drew, I don't remember what his name, his last name is, took it over. He and Rain, Glenn. I love her. Uh, managed to bring it back to life. Okay. And uh, it's been going pretty strong ever since. In 2007, the space track was split off from the science track because both were actually drawing large enough crowds that they warranted being separated. Really? So they used to be one track? They used to be one track. Oh, I bet it was um, insane. It was. It was uh, kind of crazy. And then the first thing they did was actually put us in two different rooms. And then the next year, 2007, we um, were split off as two different tracks. So, um, can you tell me about your organization? Now, Stephen Ramston said before, but the other well, I'm footage... not with Stephen. You're not with Stephen? These telescopes are out here courtesy of the University of West Georgia, which is a regional university just a few miles down the road from Atlanta, back towards yeah. the west. Now, are you an astronomer or do you just volunteer? Or? I am actually an astronomer. I am really? currently working on a PhD in geology, believe it or not, but that's because my interest in astronomy is planet formation. I'm, I'm planning on majoring in math and doing a minor in astronomy at Georgia State University when I have the time and money. Yes, I understand. Um, it's a thing. <laughs> I, you know, I, th I was going for psychology, but I just, number one, I have autism and I don't always read human emotions and yep. psychology is all about trying to fix things that you can't. And two, it is one of the most tedious subjects. I mean, they make it sound interesting and then you study it and it's boring. It is. Astronomy is much more exciting and it is my favorite form of science. I'm not a big biology fan. I haven't tried chemistry. I have a feeling if I like astronomy, I mean, I'll probably like physics because I'm good at math. I warn you. What? If you want to do astronomy, you're going to have to learn a fair amount of chemistry and physics. I understand. Okay. Well, a lot of people don't know that, but this, um, this, what you're looking at is the physical and chemical interaction. Now, where would you? Um, now, where do you stand on me learning the subjects on my own before going back to school? Oh, by all means. By all means, I can learn everything on my own first, and then. And. Uh, it is difficult. It's always easier when you've got somebody kind of pointing you in the right direction. Okay. When you get stuck on something, they're able to say, okay, have you considered this? Oh. And that's actually what's the difference between a professor and a teacher. You know, professors, okay. that's all they really are supposed to be doing is saying, so, have you considered this? All right. Now, the teacher goes, hey, this is what you need to do. <laughs> now, if I did astronomy, uh, or not, I, I mean chemistry, mm -hmm. what would you recommend if I, if I start uh, working on the chemistry, what, what would I recommend, what would be the first step? First step is always a good general course. A good general just, chemistry just, course? Yes, yeah. just learn the basics. This is atoms, okay. this is what's involved in a chemical reaction, here's the types of chemical reactions, here's how you write about them, here's how you talk about them. Because not much point in doing science if you can't communicate it. Well, um, I understand that with physics, uh, woo, that's okay. I understand. I understand that with physics, you, um, I, I have to uh, learn everything I can in uh, precalculus, calculus, and trig. Oh yes. Well, that's uh, okay. I mean, math is a is physics a very is, physics is applied mathematics. Yes. And it's, I hear it's uh, <laughs> I hear it's very visual too. Um. Well, that is more really because we human beings are visual. Yeah. Sixty percent of your brain goes to processing visual information. All right. Well, thank so you. If you can so see much. a picture. You can work it out a lot easier. All right, thank you so much. Um, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. What's your name again? Robert Moore. Is, um, I will uh, see you soon. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now, and I'm going to look at the sun. Absolutely.